everyone, it's Bonnie here, and today I'd like to try to share with you um, how I use my frontage. It's by Stampendous, and um, it's called Frontage, and this is what it looks like. And it comes in different colors. This one is the chunky white. This one is the, the shabby white. And this is like um, like a gold and white. And this one here is called Shabby Pink. And it's, you know, got pink with gold flecks in it. Flakes, not flecks. Okay, so I got these big tubes here from a, a local craft store and then I picked up this um, here and I got this from Joann's sorry about the glare um, and this one has uh, let's see if it has it on the little tubes it doesn't have the names but it comes in like the this blue color and like this brownish color And here's the, the pink that I've already showed you. And this is like gold, just gold flecks. Flakes. <laughs> Why do I say flecks? Okay. And then here's the, the white. All right, so these come in all different colors. I, I'm sure there's probably even more. But this is what I have, and this is what I've been working on. Um, okay, so let me just put these back. We'll just work with these bottles here. And you use it with this. Okay, this is what I use it with. This is what I've been told to use it with. And it's uh, basically a watermark stamp. It's clear. Well, mine's kind of messed up, but <laughs> that's the frontage on there. So, um... This is the adhesive that you use for your um, frontage to stick to before you dry it, before it's dried on your project. So let me go ahead and share with you some of the things that um, I have used my frontage on. First, I have these. Oops. Aren't those pretty? And that's just these here, these little rosebud flowers so see I just shabbed it up with some frontage looks really beautiful okay so there's that and then I tried this today I thought this was kind of cool um, it's just my flat back pearl and this is in a cream color isn't that cool so it worked on that and this this was just a metal corner piece Alright, I have to get used to this camera because it's backwards. I have it on my desk. And this, it works on wood. Okay. It works on um, resin. Okay. It works on paper flowers. Isn't that pretty? It just makes everything look shabby. Here's another metal piece. Okay. And here is paper. Oops. And then it has, I, have, I put a resin piece in the middle and did it on the resin piece as well. And this, it, it doesn't really pick up well because the paper is so light, but you see the gold specks in there and little bits of white in there. Um, okay, and here's my cameos that I, I always show. Very pretty. And here's a butterfly. Isn't that pretty? And here is a little 
um, scissors and spoon. Aren't those adorable? Okay. And then I just have a couple of gears here. I hope that's showing. Okay, so let me go ahead and share with you how I do this on a couple of things that I set aside here. Um, so first I have something to stamp with um, to put my thing that I want to stamp onto like that. And then I move it to here to, to um, sprinkle the embossing on so I can... Um, just empty the rest back into the um, tube. Okay, so let me go ahead and share with you this. So what I do is just stamp your um, this, it's paper, and I think I will use the gold in the white, and I just sprinkle a little bit here and there. Okay, and with paper, they say to do it upside down, um, you know, so the flakes don't fly around. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> oh, I, I did it on the wrong one. This was supposed to be in here, but that's all right. I'll just flip this over and do that. Okay, so then what you do is you want to dry. Not really dry, but you want to... Um, Hmm. melt your frontage right onto the paper so little noise um, paper works um, quicker when you're doing it on metals for some reason um, it takes longer I don't know why, but it does. It takes a lot longer for it to melt. But it does look like that. Okay, see how it's starting that the melt? You can see the gold melting in there. Sometimes it takes forever, but just, you know, have patience. And I think my, um, my heat tool is not as hot as others are. Oh, here we go. There we go. See, it's starting to spread out. I think that it's time for a new heat too, because mine just, it just takes forever, and I don't think it's supposed to. Can you see how it's drying on there? Beautiful and um, melting. Isn't that pretty? Alright, so that is um, the frontage on paper. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Oh, there you go. Isn't that pretty? All melted on there. So it gives it a totally um, shabby look. In this, I just, you know, sprinkled randomly. Um, all right, so let's try. Um, this is a metal embellishment that was a gold, and I painted it with gesso because I like the shabby look. So again, you just take your Vera, Vera, Versa mark and put your thing right into it, dab it around like that, okay? And of course you can color these too, you know, before you um, 
put your uh, frontage on. You can color your white things with your Lindy's um, sprays. This one I'm good. I think I'm going to do it in pink. Sometimes the pink doesn't come out because, oops, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, so that is a really lot. So this is going to be really colorful. All right, so we got that one. And, you know, if you want to be less genuine, generous, just put the frontage in your hand like this and sprinkle it on it like that. Yeah. You'll waste less. Okay. So this one, like I said, because it's metal, it takes longer to dry. I don't know why. And be really careful because when you when you heat metal up, it's very hot. It gets very, very hot. And I hope this is not too loud um, in the microphone of the camera. Oh wow, this one's melting up pretty quickly. See how pretty that is? So wow, that, that was really quick. Oh, hang on. Let me just turn it because I'm right-handed. See how pretty that is? Didn't that come out gorgeous? So that is metal. Love it. And let's do a flower. Again, it's just paper. Um, you take your Versamark and you dab your flower with it. And I think I need more of this because I, I really use a lot, so I think I, I'm... And you get this this at... I get mine at Michael's. The other stuff I had to, to um, like I said, I had to go to, a, like, a specialty shop to get the frontage, or, you know, they do sell it online. There's some shops that sell it online. Okay, this one I'm going to use the... Um, the white flakes, although it's not sticking to this um, as much as I would like it to. And I think it's because I can't get into the nooks and the crannies with the, um, the watermark. So I'm going to put a little gold in there. Okay. because the gold has the thinner specks. All right, let's dry this baby up. Be careful when you're drying too, because these get hot. And everything I've tried this on so far works. <laughs> everything I've sponged up with the Versamark and put the frontage on has melted away and become beautiful. Metals, woods, paper. So this is melting up beautifully. So all you have to do is play. And a little of this goes a long way. You know, I've done a lot, a lot of projects, a lot of different things. Um, and like, uh, like you can see, there's only, I only used like a, a few specks. So there is your flower. Didn't that come out really pretty? I just love them. Okay, so let's, I'll show you how to do this one here again. All you do, it's the same thing over and over again. I'll just use the um, pink for this one. Okay. 
Okay, so you take your sponge, sponge it up really good, and it doesn't matter if you, you know, get it on the leaves or whatever because it's, you know, you want that shabby chic look anyway. So this I'm just going to dump on. It doesn't matter if it's messy or, you know, you can be more precise with it, of course. But because I'm doing a video, we're going to get messy. These come out really pretty. I love them. And these, I believe I got these at the wedding section at Joann's. You know, they sell them in a bundle. Or it could be AC Moore, too. Ooh, see that? How pretty? Gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? All right, let me try and move this light a little bit. Isn't that pretty? I hope this is showing up nicely on camera because it is really beautiful um, in person. Okay, so did I? Sh I showed you metal. Let, let me show you um, some resin. Some of these resin pieces. So again, you just take your pad and you dab and you want to, let's see, we we'll use the white. Actually, how about this one? The white with the gold. Okay, and this one I'm going to have to lay down because it's flat and I can't get it with my um, my tweezers. So I'm just going to lay it here on the mat. I hope you guys give this a try because really it is a lot of fun. And I know I've gotten a lot of comments saying um, that you like how it looks. It gives it that shabby chic look. You know, how do you get that? And this is how easy it is. It's so easy and you just have to play. Okay, so that looks good. See how pretty? Totally shabby. Right? It's so pretty. So it went from something, you know, plain like this to totally shabby. All right. Um, let's see. Um, we did metal, so I have metal here. Okay, we did paper. All right. I think we've covered everything. Oh, I also had questions on my cameos. All right. So these are the cameos that I um, alter. And what I do, I have different um, cameo settings. This one here is from uh, Suafua. And it, this one um, came in a gold. And I just gessoed it with white. Okay. And then, oops, I used a cameo basically like that. I glue it in. I paint the cameo with gesso. And so it all matches. This one is a cream paint that I put over everything and then use the frontage right on top of it, just like I did everything else. So that's how those come out. And um, I have the big ones here. Let me just share with you these. Because sometimes these colors are like just not, you know, what I like. But when you get them in, in batches, you know, you just, you can't help what you get. So this is a black one. All I do was take your image, 
glue it in, you know, your um, cameo, glue it in, paint the whole thing with gesso, make sure you cover everything, and then if you want, you can put a, you know, a paint over it if you want yellow or blues or creams or whatever, all right, and then again, you just stamp it with your Ver Versamark, put your frontage on, and melt it, okay, and then it comes out like this. This is a metal one. Um, this is resin, but it would, you know, melt beautiful like this. Okay, so I hope that um, that has inspired you and helped with any questions that you had, you know, regarding using the frontage and where to find it and how to use it. And um, I hope you give it a try because it's a lot of fun. You just have to experiment. Like these right here, I was going to try these. Um, you know, these little plastic pieces that you get. I was going to, um, you know, paint those up and, and um, you know, maybe frontage those. That would be cool. So what I do is just lay out a tons of stuff because I'm a shabby chic girl. I gesso everything and then... Um, color it to my liking and then use the frontage right on top of that so that's how I do that okay everybody I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um and uh I'll try and put together another one real soon I'm really not good at it but I did get this cute little tripod that sits on my desk from a tag sale just a couple of weeks ago which makes it easier I didn't really know how to you know um shoot a video on my on my desk like before I, I would prop it up on you know books and I, I was afraid my camera would topple over so I, I really never really wanted to try um and do a video I have these foam flowers right here you know what I'm gonna try it see it's one of those little foam flowers it's like a calla lily let me just try it while I'm just like sitting here because I just saw it and I'm like hmm I haven't tried foam all right let's pick out a color that will show up um, let's try this gold I mean I don't know I haven't tried this gold I don't know if it's gonna be pretty or not you know I don't know if it's gonna be like my thing but let's just try and see if it works all right so then, let me put some of this. Ooh, it is pretty. Oh, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of looks like little buggies, but <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna use my tweezers because I don't want to burn my little fingers here. All right, let's. Let's see if this puppy melts up without melting the the foam. Ooh, look at that, it's melting pretty. really pretty of course it looks dumb all scattered around like that but it does work on foam <laughs> see you never know We've got stuff laying around frontage it up see how pretty it worked on foam come on focus baby Ugh. Ow! See? I burned my finger. I don't know if that's focusing. I sure hope it is. Alright, let me... Isn't that awesome? That's cool. While I have you here, let's try fabric. I have not tried fabric. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, 
And of course, the fabric's going to suck this up, so I'm really going to need a new one of these. All right, so I've just dabbed this beautiful butterfly. And let's see, I think pink. All right, so we'll use pink. Make sure you pour it right back into the pot. You don't wanna, you don't wanna waste it and cover it because man, if it spills over, it is a mess to clean up. Especially if you're a messy crafter like me and I have everything everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna dry it down here because I know it'll flop around. Oh, heck yeah. Totally melting. Pretty. Just have to make sure it doesn't burn the fabric. But yeah, that's looking good. Where's my little tweezers? Here okay, they are with the foam flower. Oops. So it does work on fabric. I don't know if that's um, focusing or not. Can you see it? It's very, very faint. Okay, so yeah, grab stuff, you know, sitting at your desk, play with it, set it aside, and you have really cool embellishments to use um, at hand. All right, so again, I hope I've answered your questions. If I haven't, please let me know, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and um, talk to you soon. Take care and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.